In this part of the tutorial, we'll learn how to apply a timing or an easing function to animations so that they look more natural. And to do this, we'll use an asteroid that starts close and looks like it moves off into the distance. So let's start by creating a new layer, and we'll call this layer Asteroid. I'll use the File Place command to place the asteroid.png file, and I'll grab it and just move it so it's out of our way. And like we did with the Earth, we'll create another layer, and we'll call this one Asteroid Path. Say its type is also an animation path. Its duration is 8 seconds, and the number of iterations it should complete is only one, so only complete the animation once and then stop. I'll use the Line Segment tool to draw a line that starts somewhere off the screen and moves off into the distance. Now I need to associate the asteroid with its new path. So I'll set the origin point to its center and its animation path to asteroid path. Now to illustrate the timing function or the easing function, I want to more naturally move the asteroid along its path. So I'll rename the asteroid path and add a brand new property called timing function. And the timing function that I'll use here is called quint ease out, which will slow it down as it moves off into the distance. So let's choose File, Export. I'll overwrite the tutorial file we've been using. And we should see an asteroid move from off screen, uh, but it doesn't really look like it's off into the distance. So in addition to moving once through that path and then stopping, we also need it to scale or get smaller as it goes into the distance. So let's add that property now. To make the asteroid look like it's moving into the distance, we need to add a scale animation to the asteroid itself. So I'll rename the asteroid layer and add some properties. The first property I'll add is the scale direction. And we'll make it shrink. The scale duration should be about 8 seconds. The number of scale iterations we want is 1, similar to the path. And we want a scale timing function. And we'll make it also quint ease in. Now when we choose File and Export, again I'll overwrite the tutorial file, in addition to the motion, we also see the scale animation. So you can see that a timing function or an easing function can give a much more natural look to your animations.